Sean, baby. Yeah, Friday the cause Monday, so many. God damn it, Tuesday, she wanna go up. But Wednesday, I bet it comes from the Thursday, just say my love. everyone welcome back to my channel and once again my hair is wet I, I don't know it's just like a normal routine for me on Fridays to actually wash my hair okay so anyways I have a very very exciting video to show you guys and there's something going on with my face and I think you already realize it yep right here and about this I will talk to you about it in the ending of the video I'm actually really excited to share with you guys on what I have going on today so I'm not gonna lie this video is the second time I'm recording this it's because when I actually recorded this yesterday I actually looked like the walking dead literally like the walking dead so ooh, look at this curl right here mm. so let's get into the video so today's video is called by the title you already should know it is actually called foundation oil test and what it actually means is and this video uh, was inspired to me by this L'Oreal advertisement that I saw on their new foundation I'm not really sure on the foundation name but they actually did that, this oil test on the foundation and I was really really intrigued about it so I actually came back home and I tried it on on all my foundations and you are going to be really truly truly amazed on what it actually turned out to be. It was really really fun and if you are a type of person like me, if like you do not want to spend that much of money on a shit foundation, you can actually go and do this trick <clears throat> when you're actually going to Sephora or any type so you actually don't waste your money or spend your money on products that is just not worth the buy at all so i'm actually going to show you a clip on how i actually prepared the entire thing so in total i have five foundations so as you can see from the clip right here i'm showing you that i've pumped out the urban decay i've pumped out the uh nas foundation i've pumped out the Too faced foundation and i pumped out the uh, both both my revlon foundations is one is the air bush really where is my r the airbrush effect and the Revlon color stay so as you can see everything is pumped up and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this Josie Moran Argan oil and I'm just gonna put two drops of this oil on top each of the foundation and you can actually literally see the difference on how the foundation actually transform and as you can see uh, the oil is actually going into the foundation and this is actually a test whether the foundation actually breaks out if you're oily and look at the colors the Revlon airbrush effect the oil is just on top of the foundation it doesn't seep through the foundation wow and this I think I poured a bit much but we'll see whether the foundation cracks up. Using this technique is actually is like a speed up proce process on a first impression foundation review on your face. See normally let's say today now I did my entire face. <clears throat> I did on a very clean face so my oils are not broke out yet. So it takes about like 3 to 4 hours for my oils to break up in order to for me to know whether this foundation breaks up or this foundation really really truly lasts even though it says it's an oil free foundation like what the NAS did so this technique is actually a very very good technique that I actually picked it up from L'Oreal advertisement and I wanted to share with you guys so you guys can go home and actually try this out you know you guys are gonna be amazed on how it actually turned out to be so now I'm actually gonna show you a clip of after one hour of how the foundation actually looks like let's go to that now can you see this is the Urban Decay foundation and can you see that it is it's not breaking up that much but it's actually removing the oil and it's actually like coming out so it's actually separating the oil from the foundation itself can you see the NARS foundation how it actually cracks up this is how it actually is if your face is oily it cracks up like this and look at the Too Faced foundation it actually mixes your facial oils together with the foundation and there is not even a single crack Revlon color stain no wonder I love this foundation so much as you can see there's not even a single crack on the foundation and just oil the oil just separated away from the foundation same for the airbrush effect I mean airbrush effect there is like a small crack it's a crack right here I'm not sure whether you can see but it's right there but nevertheless it just spreads out the foundation really really well around it so guys this 
actually works. Go and test it out. So just imagine now that these foundations are literally your face and your oils are breaking out from your face. Did you see the difference on each foundation as as to post when I pumped it out and after I dropped the oil one hour later. You could literally see the NARS foundation crack. NARS foundations are just not meant for people who are oily and from this little test you would have known, known already. So now I'm actually going to show you another clip of after two hours on of how it actually turned out. So let's go and have a look on that now. So as you can see now I'm showing you the Urban Decay one after so like two hours. As, as you can see the oils is actually separated away from the foundation. So when normally you are wearing foundation on your face and your oils break through, you literally, it literally separates your oil from the foundation itself. Look at the NARS foundation and how it cracked. Let me zoom in for you guys. Look how bad it actually cracked. This is what I was actually telling you guys about. This foundation is the worst foundation ever. This is just the worst. So moving on to the Too Faced foundation. As you can see, the Too Faced foundation, it only like releases a bit of oil at the corner over here. And it just, you know, it just seamlessly mixes the oils together with the foundation. And it just makes you look really, really luminous. Honestly, Too Faced foundation is the bomb. Look at the airbrush effect foundation. As you can see, like, so as you can see, the foundation did crack a bit, but not as bad as the NARS foundation. Look at it. Look at the difference of the airbrush effect foundation and the NARS. It's just that it's just a bit of crack and the rest of the oil is actually separated away from the foundation. And same thing comes for the Revlon Color Stay. It separates the oil from the foundation. So, so yeah guys, did you actually literally see the difference from the time I actually started to two hours later on how much the foundation actually um, turned out to be? From this little test, you would have known that this little, you know, experiment did actually work. Go and share this video and go and let your family and friends know. You can actually do this with your foundation rather than literally testing it on your face. If you still want to literally test it on your face on the coverage and stuff like that, but yes, you can do that. But testing it, whether it breaks up oil or whether your foundation lasts, you can literally just do this technique and you're good to go. You don't need to wear the foundation the whole day in order to do a first impression review. I might still do a first impression video and put the foundation on my face and see how long it lasts. So it's just a quicker way for you. It's actually a fun uh, thing to do at home is because you can just like test out your foundations and you can actually really really know which of your foundation actually works the best. And I'm only saying this for people who have oily combination is because if you're dry your foundations are oily. So even though you're gonna do this test it's it's not gonna pan out. It's because your foundation inside already has oil. So when you are dry you need to get a foundation who which is you know, luminous or it is not oil free in order to have a very beautiful, you know, look or else you're, you're, you are going to look extremely dry all over the place. So getting into my next, my next thing is, let's talk about this nasty thing on my face. Can you see that? Oh, can you see that? Yeah, you, it's just so, now my face just turned blue. Oh. So did you see that nasty thing on my face? I, I got this in the... Okay. What happened was on Thursday, I woke up, I did my normal routine, I went to work, there was nothing on my face. There was nothing on my face. So when I actually went to work, I started to itch around this area right here. So normally when I'm itch, when I'm itching with foundation on, I'll just use my fingernail and I'll just like... You know, let's... That's all. I wouldn't really just scratch the thing. It's because your foundation will just you know, move. When I actually was scratching, I thought it was like a pimple. So I just left it alone. I did not go to the toilet. I did not look at my face 24-7 when while I was at work. So when I actually, after that, uh, my hubby came and picked me up and then we went out and then I was like feeling, why is this area here with extremely pain? And I couldn't see anything. It's because it was hidden underneath the foundation. So all I could see was like this part here being swollen. So I thought, okay, 
it's a pimple. So when I came back home and I washed off my entire face, this area here literally bubbled up and it looked like blisters and it was just super disgusting. And then I was like, what the fuck bit my face? And I was like, oh, it's not like I'm a, like a petty person that, you know, I need to uh, look good all the time. It's, it's because I don't want to, you know, walk out of the house looking like the walking dead, like I said. For me to already to do this makeup on my face and have this on my face is already a really, really big deal. It's because I don't like scars on my face. I just do not, no girl likes scars on their faces and, and especially this. This, I've ever got this once before and it took almost a month for it to truly recover and eventually this red will turn into a like, like a scar and a black color scar and it's just gonna be a patch there and it's just I'm not sure whether I'm able to you know do a makeup tutorial for you guys till this actually disappears and by me talking to you now you your eyes are literally at my at my, my mouth area right now am I right don't lie, don't lie, I know it's in my mouth area, it's because it's so like out of this world, it's like everything there is nice and then whoa, look at the lip. Okay, it looks like I got a, 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 a punch but it's not a punch and can you see that patch? I literally have to put foundation around it. It's because it is so bad and it's itching so badly now. And you know that type of itch that you want to scratch and you know it just bleeds. But I can't do that to my face. I have to like literally just take a tissue and keep dabbing and dabbing because that is the only way that I can ease the pain by pressing on it. Um, it's just so, so bad. And this is just the worst time ever when I'm actually telling to you and actually venting out my frustration on a little insect bite. My camera's dying. And, okay. I'm actually feeling better after ranting to you guys. So anyways, I also, I, I just want to let you guys know about my backdrop, okay? So, you know, some people maybe, you know, why you don't have any fancy backdrops and stuff like that is because I don't want a fancy backdrop. And the reason why I off the light is because I don't want to blind you guys with the light and everything. It's very distracting if I have the light on because it just takes off the focus out of the wall. So I have not actually really completed this wall yet but it's, it will be completed soon. Yeah. So this is actually a photo of me on my 21st birthday. And this is like a photo shoot thingy that you know. I, I went to, that is actually not my first photo shoot that I went to, I'm, I'm actually a freelance model. You know, I don't want to do random random modeling. And this is actually a picture of me and my hubby and this is the time we actually went to zoo. I don't know whether you can see it because the light is, is like around here. So, this is a picture of me and my hubby and we actually have many others around um, the room like the Universal Studios. Malayan, Sea Aquarium and stuff like that. So this backdrop, the reason why I, I love this backdrop is because it shows you guys m about me. It's not like some plain backdrop and some sparkly backdrop where you know it's fancy, it's it looks beautiful but I want a backdrop that shows you guys that hey this is you know all about me. My backdrop, I want it to be all about me and my life. So that's about it guys. So I truly, truly hope that you enjoy this foundation oil test and me ranting about my nasty thing on my face. I love you, love you, love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to hit that subscription down below and subscribe to my channel in order to keep updated with my latest video guys uh, just to let you guys know my blog page is actually up and running it's all done all completed all the links of my social media accounts my youtube accounts will is there linked in the website itself so do follow me at www.sabrinaisabel.com dot wordpress.com so the link will be in the description down below so all you can do is just go and click it and it will direct you to this uh to my blog post and um i will actually literally give you like a short description of why i did this video and yeah so you can go and follow me there as well you can follow me on facebook instagram or twitter and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys